The question is, what is critical race theory, and is it being taught to our children? Very briefly, the basic tenets of critical race theory, or CRT, emerged out of a framework for legal analysis in the late 1970s and early 1980s created by legal scholars Derek Bell, Kimberly Crenshaw, and Richard Delgado, among others. Less briefly, critical race theory argues that racism is not just a matter of personal prejudice or explicit legal discrimination, but can be found in everyday social practices and is embedded in our legal system. It places specific emphasis on history and context with relation to discussion of race in legal discourse, and seeks to understand how white supremacy was created and how it is maintained, and to examine its relationship to professed ideals such as the rule of law and equal protection. It argues that race is not not only a social construct, but a legal construct, and that while the biological reality of race is false, there is a very real material dimension to being raced in the United States of American society, and that this dynamic has been both produced and sustained by law. It finds fault with the ideal of colorblindness, which ignores effects of centuries of documented racism, and instead embraces the notion of race consciousness. It uses concepts such as white privilege and intersectionality to better understand the dynamics of the social, material, and legal inequalities throughout our society. It aims to expose the racial dimensions to the meritocracy mythology. It is a political practice, a progressive activist movement, and an intellectual identity for scholars of color that takes the form of left intervention into race discourse and race intervention into left discourse that addresses the law's treatment of race from a self-consciously critical perspective. It believes that reform is required within the legal system itself, law schools and courtrooms. Critical race theory is not only concerned with understanding the ways in which our history of racist laws and social practices have created racial inequality and how white supremacy is maintained within our society and through our legal system, but critical race theory is an intentional and explicit effort to change this dynamic. So, is this being taught to our elementary, middle school, and high school students? The short answer is, nah. And if you are skeptical of this claim and are a parent, ask your child to watch this clip and then get back to me. Critical race theory has certainly connections to any kind of critical uh, intellectual discourse, but it's also connected to critical legal studies, which was not committed mm -hmm. to sort of inheriting all of the, all of the kind of uh, 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 Gramscian and Marxian sort of ideas that you're talking about. And again, right. even the type of Marxism you're talking about is a very narrow, thin sort of crude Marxism, or even what we call vulgar Marxism, which uh, alleges a relationship between economic base and cultural superstructure that is one to one, when in fact, what most Marxists have argued, and what certainly most Marxists post uh, the, the mid part of the 20th century have argued, is that it's a much more complicated dynamic than even Gramsci himself argues that in the prison notebooks about this idea of hegemony and how it happens along a compromise equilibrium, whereby some people, or, or, or whereby on the one hand, we absolutely are, 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 are hostage to the economic conditions around us, but on the other hand, uh, structures and states and institutions also appeal to our own desires and, and our own interests and our own needs. It's a much more dynamic and complicated relationship than you're talking about. And as far as sort of structures, that, the, the, again, you're, you're making a connection between structures in terms of institutional structures that I was talking about and the particular type of structures that, say, a Saussure would be talking about in terms of structuralism. That's not actually what I was talking about. And that's not what most people are talking about when they talk about systems and structures. Again, that's a very tight correlation you draw. But and if we were to accept that correlation, then sure. But it's not only that we're not accepting it, it's actually not what we're talking about. And postmodernism, yeah, you know again, a lot plays this, upon actually. a range of things. I'm sorry? I said you know a lot about this, actually. That you know a very... You know yeah. a very so did your kid get all that? Did you get all that? Did James Lindsay get all that? This is not light reading, folks. This shit is highly sophisticated and intellectually rigorous. It's the kind of thing you study with a dictionary at the ready. Saying that children are learning critical race theory in our schools is like saying kids are learning quantum physics because they started learning about atoms and molecules. Critical race theory is something that is being taught in college, primarily in law school, and involves critical thinking and debate, where students are encouraged to examine the ideas involved and ask whether or not they hold up to scrutiny. Something critics of critical race theory and proponents of debate should like. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Here's the evergreen end plate to ask you to like and subscribe. It's any day of the year where you are.